This is a Dell Optiplex 5070, equipped with an i5-8500, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, 1TB of NVMe storage is boot, and 1TB 2.5-inch SSD is storage. It's also my family's Plex server, and I'll show you how to make one of your own. Timestamps will be in the description. If this video helps you at all, please leave a like and help get the channel to 1,000 subs. Without any further ado, let's get started. The only thing you'll need for this is some form of PC. I'm using this mini PC, but you can use an old laptop, a dedicated NAS, and so on. The main consideration when setting this up is power draw and storage. You can run this on a dedicated gaming rig, but I wouldn't recommend it as leaving something that power hungry running constantly is going to reflect on your light bill. You can also add some form of external storage add-on like this DAS, but again, take power draw into consideration as well as upkeep expenses over time. Now let's hop onto the PC and really get started. First, follow the link down below to take you to the Plex website and download the client software. Install the app, create an account, and get comfortable with the layout of the software. Then you can follow this link to get the Plex Media Server app. Of course, download and install. Once installed, at the bottom of your screen, navigate to this Plex icon. Right click and make sure this option is checked. Then check for updates. Once the web page has you logged in, you can set up the directory to your library. Personally, I keep TV shows on one drive and movies on the other, but that's entirely unnecessary. Plex gives you a lot of options for customization and configuration for a variety of hardware for you to play with as you wish. Once you've made all the changes that you want, close out the browser and the Plex app. Then relaunch the Plex app and you should be able to see everything in your library. And that's basically it. You now you have your own DIY Netflix experience. Like Netflix and other apps, you can view movie information, actors, see movies with the same actors, watch free TV and movies, and so many other user-friendly features. It's crazy that this whole thing is free. Well, mostly free. You can watch your content through Plex on your TV, Steam Deck, and other PCs with no issue. But for mobile, they require Plex Pass, which I pay $5 a month for. And to me, this is completely worth it. My family does a lot of traveling and we've watched countless movies on trains, boats, and even planes. <laughs> yeah, planes. Thanks to Plex Pass, I'm able to remotely download my media to my phone and watch it without an internet connection. So while we're passing through TSA, my phone is downloading a movie or two for the ride. And I'm clearly not sponsored, but I can't recommend Plex enough. It's been able to break us from multiple streaming service payments and allows us to have full control over what's being hosted without worrying about another company pulling our favorite movie or show from their services. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's showing. If you enjoy what you watch, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, share the channel, give us some additional exposure. We're getting so close to a thousand subs and I can't do it without you. Thank you to the tacticians, the channel members, and just the longtime supporters. I love you guys. Hope this helped a little bit. I'm going to catch you in the next one.